Hey guys, it's your boy Keys. We're live on the Binance platform. We're going to be looking at some of the basic tips you should know when you're considering collecting a crypto facility or a crypto loan on the Binance platform. Now, there are various reasons why users want to get a, a, a crypto loan on the Binance platform. One of them is the fact that you could use it for margin trading, just like we have BTC against USDT here. And you see the price is currently moving. As the price is volatile, uh, BTC is currently at $41,000. So you could decide to edge against this uh, price fluctuation. Uh, you, want to, uh, uh, you want to use your collateral in getting access to uh, some amount of BTC so you can uh, make profit uh, from this uh, current and um, price for the fluctuation. So those are some of the reasons why users might want to uh, push through with uh, collecting a crypto facility as well as other uh, features or other fa uh, reasons. So basically, we've talked about how to collect a crypto loan in particular. I'll be dropping a link in the video description so you can get access to that. And also in this video tutorial as a bonus tip, we'll also be going through some of the basic uh, tips you should know and uh, how to get it in particular. So first and foremost, all you need to do is to make sure you have an account on the Binance platform. Uh, this is our dashboard here. You can see we have some amount of uh, our cryptocurrency in our sports wallet. We currently have about $7 worth of cryptocurrency. We have our AFDAR, we have iToken, we have C98. And these are some of the cryptocurrencies we've accumulated so far. You can also check our distribution, distribution portal. These are distribution talks about uh, cryptocurrency that we've put in the Binance N feature. So we're going to use the Binance N feature. This gives us an uh, opportunity to earn flexible savings. Uh, you can see we're currently earning uh, some amount of SAN tokens, uh, some amount of SAN tokens as well as some amount of MANA tokens and uh, Dogecoin. So these are all uh, Metaverse uh, tokens as well as uh, meme uh, coins. So uh, what we do is that uh, Binance gives you the opportunity to uh, stake your uh, cryptocurrencies so that you can earn additional uh, income on the Binance platform. So depending on whichever uh, method you're using, if you're on the Binance web or you're using the uh, mobile version, you can be able to assess crypto loans in particular. All you need to go is to go over to uh, navigate. If on the my mobile app, you want to navigate to the more option and go over to the crypto loan section. On the web version, all you need to do is click on the finance and you, you get access to the crypto loans feature. So on the end feature, uh, we have some cryptocurrencies that are currently there. Uh, I will be showing you some of them. Uh, Binance gives you the opportunity to stake these cryptocurrencies in order for you to earn additional income. Uh, this helps in uh, uh, scenarios where you want to hold these crypt cryptocurrencies for a long period of time. So basically, as a new user on the Binance platform, you want to understand that crypto loans or basically for you to get access to crypto loans you need to have a verified binance account i uh, will be dropping a link in the description box where you get hundred dollars or more or uh, up to hundred dollars or more discounts when you trade or when you utilize our link in signing up on the binance platform so this gives you a lifetime opportunity to get uh cashbacks whenever you trade on the binance platform or, or on the futures or whenever you trade on any of the binance uh, trading uh platform so basically, uh, we have crypto loans here. So once you're done verifying your account, you won't need to make sure that you have funded your account. So you can fund your account through your debit card or credit card or whichever method through e-channels or the Binance P2P uh, channels, depending on uh, whichever one is suitable or is allowed in your individual uh, uh, regions. So for users who have a government ban on cryptocurrency, you might, want, you might find the Binance P2P uh, platform a little bit or more friendly or more accessible to you. So once you've done that, once you've funded your account, uh, you want to make sure you have a collateral. So the crypto loaning basically is works like uh, traditional loans. So or like, tra like traditional loans, uh, crypto loans or in a definition, crypto loans are basically uh, facilities you take in a bid for you to uh, assess your or, or push through with your desires or your current and needs. So uh, looking at the what is crypto loan, says here on Binance article, he said the uh, fundamentals of crypto loans are pretty similar with traditional loans, except for one key difference, accountability. So traditional loans use credit scores to calculate borrower's risk 
why crypto loans don't require credit score. So instead, lenders will owe the portion of your crypto core assets as collateral until you repay the loan. So let's take a closer look at how your typical uh, crypto loan works. Since the crypto market is volatile and riskier for lenders and borrowers, crypto loan periods are shorter, ranging from 7 to 180 days, and interest is calculated hourly instead of monthly. So these are some of the benefits you want to know about the Binance crypto loan. Now, uh, what you should derive from this is the fact that on the Binance crypto loans, it gives you access to collecting facilities. So unlike traditional loans, you can uh, get a facility of a crypto loan in order to push through with your uh, uh, uh your immediate needs so let's say there's an opportunity for you to pay or there's a need for you to pay school fees on your uh if you're a student you want to pay for school fees you want to pay for your daughter's school fees you want to pay for uh some basic needs you might want to get a crypto loan if you have uh invested in an amount of a cryptocurrency let's say you've invested in a, a metaverse token or you've invested in a bitcoin and you want to hold this Bitcoin for a long period of time because uh, one of the key features of cryptocurrency in general is the fact that when you hold crypto assets for a long period of time, it gives you the opportunity to end while uh, when this uh, uh, crypto asset appreciates in value. So uh, that uh, said, uh, users might want to key into this feature. So you might want to use this uh, a crypto asset just like a traditional uh, on a traditional scenario, a a a a, a, a user my want to on or an individual might want to use their house as a collateral to get access to a crypto uh, to a loan facility so in this scenario all you need to do is to get a uh, user make sure you have a verified account on the binance platform and you have access to and make sure your account is funded and you have access to borrowing loan so another benefit on the binance uh, uh crypto loan is the fact that when you're using the Binance uh, crypto loans, you are uh, unlike traditional loans. You don't need to wait for uh, uh, credit scores. You don't need to have an account with them for about three months. Most financial institutions will recommend that you need to maintain an, an account with them for up to three months or five months or six months or up to a year before you can get access to a crypto loan for uh, before you can get access to a loan facility from them. So uh, unlike uh, for Binance, you can uh, register your account today, fund your account today, and you can get access to a crypto loan facility today. So you can decide to uh, hold BTC for a long period of time. And while holding this BTC, one of the major reasons why users might want to use them as collateral is the fact that these are uh, crypto assets. They may appreciate in value or they may... Uh, or be, be because of the fact that they are volatile in nature or they have the potentials of being uh, uh unique in features so a user might want to use stable coins in future maybe they are more uh, comf uh comfortable using stable coins because they, they are more relaxed using it or a user might want to use btc in particular in holding a part uh, btc so you can find out that in a scenario in a favorable scenario where a user use btc which has the potential of both appreciating in value and depreciating in value. Uh, for a good scenario, uh, the BTC being used as collateral could appreciate in value, and this user gets the opportunity of benefiting from the fact that they did not liquidate uh, their uh, BTC in uh, by converting this BTC exactly to the uh, uh, needs they want to use. So uh, there are lots of uh, needs, such as uh, maybe you want to trade or you want to edge against sand token you are you made your research about uh, some amount of uh, a, a particular crypto asset and you're sure that this crypto asset is going to moon in the, uh, uh it's going to moon in uh days to come or in the future so you want to uh, edge against this and you also have interest in a particular asset so you want to or use that particular asset as a uh, collateral in order for you to get access to this particular, uh, this new cryptocurrency that or this new crypto asset that you find favor in. So this gives you the opportunity to understand or to benefit from both ends. So in a scenario where the BTC has appreciated in value, you get, uh, uh, you are able to pay back your crypto asset peacefully and also your uh the, the being the fact that your, your crypto asset has also appreciated in value you also get benefit from the uh appreciated value that uh, your btc has gotten so these are some of the basic tips you need to know now we're going to look at some of the pros and cons in btc 
uh, in crypto loans in particular. Now, on the Binance crypto loans, you need to know that the uh, crypto loans, uh, they have uh, speed and feasibility. So unlike uh, traditional loans where you have to do lots of paperwork, you have to do uh, maybe uh, in scenarios, you need to bring a guarantor because most uh, financial institutions, they need a guarantor. So uh, unlike these uh, financial institutions, you, uh, you uh, for crypto loans, you don't need a guarantor or you need uh, all you need to know is that they are very speedily and flexibility and you can get, uh, get access to them 24 7. so whichever time of the day you want to edge against or you want to push through with your needs you can also go you can just log into your binance account that is verified and is uh, funded with uh, enough uh, 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 crypto assets use them for your particular purpose as collateral and get access to the binance uh, crypto loan so borrowers can instantly uh, collect their loans with flexible repayments uh, anytime so the flexible repayment talks about the fact that the binance uh, crypto loans allows you to pay your pay back your crypto loans in any uh, uh scenario or uh whichever uh, day you feel you want to pay back your loan so if you collected the loan facility that is meant to run for a, a period of one month and you decide to pay the next day binance allows you to pay these uh, uh crypto loans in particular without any uh default or fee charges you only need to know that the uh, binance uh, interest rates are being calculated on an hourly basis which gives you the opportunity that uh, if you're paying in whatever hour of the day uh, uh, less than an hour is also calculated as, a, as an hour now another pros is the accessibility you get so crypto loans are more accessible uh to the underbank populations including people with little or no credit history so limited access to traditional institutions and self-employed employers or workers who can't meet a conventional loan requirement uh these are some of the benefits they get so uh for binance crypto loans all you need to do is that you need to have a, a means of identification so once you have a means of identification you can open a binance account and once you have enough funds, you can fund your Binance account, invest in the particular cryptocurrency that is of your choice, and use this pre uh, cryptocurrency that is of your or this crypto asset as your collateral in order for you to edge against whichever cryptocurrency or whichever needs that you currently have in the crypto uh, uh, industry or in the uh, uh, in the trading or in the Binance uh, industry. So let's say maybe there's an activity that is currently going on on the Binance platform and you feel you want to uh, opt into this particular activity. Let's say there's an activity for you to win uh, up to $100,000 rewards where you trade some amount of uh, crypto token. So you might want to use your particular crypto assets that you don't want to liquidate, use it as a, uh, a collateral and get uh, that particular uh, cryptocurrency that is currently being used as an activity or as a, as a giveaway. You use it to edge against the market, then you make your transactions, then you, when you once you're done with that, you get the benefit from that particular uh, giveaway or airdrop that is being done on the Binance platform because there are lots of uh, giveaways being done. So these are some of the reasons why people do. You can also go over to the Binance P2P, uh, withdraw these uh, particular uh, crypto loans that you've collected for fiat currency, withdraw it, and uh, your uh, bank account will be credit credited. Uh, once you're done with uh, maybe in a scenario where you want to pay school fees or you want to use it for an immediate business that is uh, currently offline you want to use it for a business transaction you make your profits and once you're done with making the business transaction you can uh, uh log into the binance account pay off your loan and you're good to go so these are some of the benefits and there's also the long-term consideration so the long-term consideration talks about uh, long-term crypto investors may run into situations where they need quick money for a business or investment opportunity. Instead of liquidating their assets, you can consider taking out a crypto loan. So this helps a lot for uh, users who believe in holding their cryptocurrency. Now, if you look at the price of BTC some years back, it was about uh, $10. Uh, $20, $100, and you can see now that the price of BTC is about $41 as of uh, uh, recording on the Binance uh, margin and trading. So these are some of the benefits, guys. These are some of the benefits. So users might want to hold this crypto asset for a long period of time in order for them to get access to this benefit. The, uh, uh, the thing is that when you do liquidate some of your crypto assets, by liquidating some of your crypto assets, uh, 
uh, by liquidating some of your crypto assets, you get you may lose out on the fact that these uh, crypto assets are very volatile in nature. So uh, five minutes of you look liquidating your crypto asset in another five minutes, that crypto asset that you've just liquidated may appreciate in value in a very high way and it would limit the fact that you could not get access to uh, the uh, the benefits that could be associated if you had held on to that uh, crypto asset or used it as a collateral on the Binance platform. Now, you also want to know that the borrowers on the Binance platform get access to lower interest rates with a crypto secured loan. So Binance gives users or all verified users a very easy or uh, interest-free rate, which uh, enables them to enjoy the uh, crypto loans uh, feature. So this is one of the major feature why uh, users benefit from uh, the Binance crypto loans. Unlike uh, the traditional crypto loans, where you get to uh, pay your interest rates on a monthly basis, Binance calculates their interest rate on an hourly basis. Hourly basis gives you the opportunity to pay uh, your interest rate on an hourly basis. If you were to pay your interest basis, uh, interest rate on a monthly basis, you would have to pay interest rates for a whole period of time, even though you did not use up to a month. Let's say you want to pay off your uh, crypto loan in the middle of the month, you have to pay the interest rate in the uh, uh, for the whole month, even though you didn't you didn't use up to the whole month. So those are some of the features that Binance has calculated and has used and seen that it will be more beneficial if they calculated their crypto loans on an hourly basis. So these are some of the they would have put it on a minute basis, but the minute basis is usually more uh, technical as the uh, time flies a lot. So an hourly basis seems more reasonable for users. So now looking at the cons that you should know when you are looking to prepare for uh, crypto loans, it talks about the liquidation risk. You need to understand that uh, crypto assets are very, very volatile. So if the value of your collateral falls below the requirements, you will need to add more liquidity. Otherwise, your lender uh, runs the risk of liquidation. So now Binance is running a business here. So you need to understand that like traditional businesses, all businesses would want to try forward. So you don't want a scenario where you want a crypto loan and you are unable to own, uh uh, get a crypto loan because of the fact that some uh, users have borrowed crypto loans in the past and they are unable to uh, uh, pay back this crypto asset. This is one of the major factor or one of the major limitations that traditional businesses have, and they are trying to trying to look for uh, are currently looking forward to ways where they can uh, edge against this. So Binance has created an automated uh, uh, platform in which. Uh, where your crypto loan is running towards the risk zone, you will be notified that your collateral is currently or will be liquidated in this uh, uh, scenario. So your collateral should be in a uh, place that can be able to afford or, or clear off your loan in a peaceful way. So another thing you need to know is that the loan to value or LTV ratio, this ratio measures the risk rate level by comparing the level of your loan against the market uh, value of its collateral. So normally the uh, LTV ratio that is being given to all users, all users that want to get access to the Binance crypto loan is currently at 65%. So uh, for a scenario where you want to uh, use your uh, 100 BUSD, that is a Binance stable coin, BUSD, $100 worth of uh, BUSD, uh, Binance gives you the opportunity to borrow up to like $65 uh, of BUSD. So you keep at least 100 BUSD and you get access to 65 BUSD. So that's just a scenario. So let's say you want to borrow a uh, BTC or you want to borrow, you want to use BUSD as your uh, collector. So what you need to know is that Binance will give you, or in a scenario where you have a BTC at $41,000, Binance gives you the opportunity, maybe you have one BTC and you bought one BTC and you want to use the one BTC as your collector. So Binance will collect your one BTC and will tell you that you only, you can be able to borrow up to, uh, let's say, uh, $30,000 worth of cryptocurrency. Now you need to know that BTC is currently worth about $41,000. So $13,000 is not up to your collateral. So you need to know that LTV is not usually a part at your uh, uh, collateral. This is one of the risk measures that Binance has put in place 
to uh, let uh, users know that uh, this is uh, basically uh, uh, a risk management uh, measure to enable all users get access to this. So you don't want a scenario where uh, the uh, crypto loan feature is no longer available. So this is something that is very reasonable and that is, uh, although it is uh, something that could limit some users from getting more access to uh, uh, crypto loans value that they want to get. So you need to know this. For you to get access to more crypto or loans or crypto assets, you need to make sure that your uh, facility, uh, you need to have more collateral for you to get more access to this. So another cons in this is the fact that there's the late repayment. For late repayment, borrowers will need to get a uh, uh we attract additional two percent fee and also their collateral will be liquidated so uh the good thing here is that binance will officially inform you that your collateral will be liquidated before it actually gets liquidated so once your uh, collateral exceeds the 83 percent uh ltv ratio or the risk management ratio so binance tells you that there's a risk management ratio so it goes from 65 percent up to about 83 percent so binance tells you that once it gets to this particular uh percentage ratio you will be liquidated as uh this is a business you don't want to uh uh, uh make it uh unfavorable for the binance as well as other new uh newbies that want to get access to this cryptocurrency uh uh feature so the main purpose here is that or the main reason behind your collateral being liquidated is the fact that when you use a particular collateral, let's say you use a volatile collateral such as BTC. Now, BTC has been known to move or fluctuate in price from uh, time immemorial. So BTC has gone from $3,000 $4,000 and it has moved up to $41,000. It has even gone up to $65,000. So what you want to know is that let's say you uh, use BTC as $65,000 uh, in getting a particular crypto asset. So when you got this particular crypto asset of $65,000, that was the worth of BTC. And now uh, for $65,000, you are able to withdraw at least, let's say, 65% uh, uh, of that uh, particular figure in USDT equivalent of the crypto asset you want to borrow. So let's say you got about $40,000 or $30,000 uh, crypto loan or asset to enable you push through with your immediate needs. Now you've gotten that particular crypto asset and let's say there's a scenario where BTC now dropped up to like $30,000. So you need to know that uh, BTC is now currently worth about $30,000 and the crypto facility that Binance has given you is currently worth about $30,000. Now, this is not a good scenario. So Binance will notify you that you need to add more or collateral to this, your particular cryptocurrency, uh, uh, to this, your collateral, as your collateral that you've used initially is currently not worth uh, uh, it's not going to what or uh, 65 percent of what uh, they gave you initially so you need to understand this uh, whole concept so uh binance will notify you and let you know that you can uh add more or you should add more in order to avoid liquidation so this is some of the major uh principles that binance have put in place or these are some of the major uh, tips you should know when you are preparing for uh a crypto loan feature on the binance platform then another thing you need to know is that on the binance uh, uh crypto loan feature there's an opportunity whereby your crypto asset or btc let's say btc has gotten up to hundred thousand dollars so uh there are two ways there's the benefit and there's the disadvantages guys so uh let's say btc goes up to uh uh, $100,000 and you used it when it was $65,000 in getting up to $40,000 uh, crypto uh, loan or crypto loan on the Binance platform. So Binance also gives you the opportunity. So Binance is not a uh, uh, bias. Binance gives you the opportunity to be able to withdraw the differences. So there's a scenario where your uh, crypto collateral that you've used is currently over or excessive or more than enough to clear off your uh, crypto loan. Binance gives you the opportunity to withdraw some of these crypto assets and use them for whichever purposes you want to use. So those are some of the benefits why you want to use the Binance crypto loans feature. And some of those are some of also some of the tips you want to know. Now, looking at the Binance flexible loan terms, you need to know that Binance offers flexible loan terms from uh, seven days up to 14 days, 30 days, 90 days, as well as eight, 180 days. 180 days is currently the maximum number of days which uh, users can borrow on the Binance uh, platform.
now you need to know that the interest is calculated on an hourly basis now for a quick tip you need to know is that if you do wish to collect a crypto loan facility more than these 180 days all you need to do is to pay up let's say you pay up uh, the crypto facility that you've collected on the 179th day or the 180th day and you can also get access to another crypto loan facility so that is some of the benefit guys so binance does not restrict you from getting a crypto loan facility as long as you are capable of getting crypto loan facilities so once you are able to get as much uh, uh you have collateral you are good to go guys you're good to go so you can decide to hold onto the crypto core assets you want to hold for a long period of time let's say for five years and you get access to uh whichever cryptocurrency you want to get but binance usually caps their uh, loan tenor at from seven days to 180 days and mind you you can also pay uh before this timeline guys you can also pay with it before this timeline also, the early repayment, that's what we just talked about. Say repay at any time before the due date with no penalty fees. So there are no penalty fees, unlike traditional fee uh, uh, financial institutions. Traditional financial institutions, like I know of, or like banks, they'll tell you that maybe you need to pay uh, two months penal charge for interest rates because you are paying early. But Binance knows the fact that for you to pay early is even a benefit to them as they can uh, it is a, a opportunity for them to utilize the interest or the loans they've given you to use for other uh, particular customers so they encourage users to even pay early so once you return the loan amount uh, Binance will only charge you an interest fee based on the hours borrowed so Binance will calculate the hours that you the loan has been with you and calculate the interest that has uh, that is associated with those hours now you can also use the funds anywhere so these are some of the tips you need to know you can use the funds anywhere feel free to use your borrowed crypto asset wherever you want to use them so if you want to use them for binance uh, futures trading margin trading whichever trading you want to use them for partic participate in launch pad you want to participate in a uh, launch pool you want to or uh, buy a uh, uh, spot trading you want to go over to the p2p market and withdraw these directly to your buy ba bank account you can do whichever you want to do because Binance is assured that you've dropped a collateral which is sufficient enough to uh, fund your uh, individual needs. Then the loan staking feature is one of the most important feature or one of the most unique feature that Binance has made. So the loan staking feature is a feature of crypto loans that allows users to stake their crypto asset as collateral to reduce interest rates. Now the profits generated by your crypto or staked uh, collateral are used to reduce the daily interest rates to as low as 0%. So 0% guys, you get, uh, let's say in a scenario where you collected a particular crypto asset, this is currently not available for our traditional uh, systems or traditional uh, companies. Uh, the, these are, are kind of limited in traditional areas. So let's say like you own a company that is currently doing business or let's say we're trying to or use a traditional scenario. The only company that is calling, let's say you own a, a beverage or a food company that currently does a food production and is currently in supply. So you might want to use your company in collecting a loan facility because you want to uh, edge against uh, some amount of, uh, you want to push through with some projects. So mind you, your uh, uh, crypto or your company is currently in production. So they are still doing their business well enough and making their profits well enough. So uh, this is what Binance has understood and put into the Binance ecosystem where crypto users can stake their collateral collector is what you are using in collecting your loan you stake your collector and you're benefiting or you're collecting interest or additional money from this so in a, a nutshell the interest you're meant to pay in uh, as uh, as a reason for you to collect the loan the interest you're meant to pay will uh can be nailed off in the sense that the collector that you used in collecting a loan will also be yielding you interest will also be yielding you interest and when you nail up this interest rate depending on the amount of collateral you use or the amount amount of uh, staked uh, uh, loan stake that you've uh, staked when you've nailed this up you can find out that in a scenario there you you end up not paying any interest rate at all and you also get enough enough appreciated value in your collector so let's say in the scenario where you use btc as uh or let's say for any of the sticking options that are currently available 
uh, because BTC is currently not available. There are other crypto core assets that are currently available. Let's say you use whichever one is available. You want to know that Binance will uh Binance allows you the opportunity to uh use these uh, staking options to gain interest in order for you you end up not paying any interest rate at all. So these are some of the things. If you believe in a particular project and you know this project is good to go, these are some of the benefits that most users use. Now, looking at how does the Binance loans work, it says that if you registered for a Binance account and completed identity verification, you are ready to borrow in and you're good to go. So you can decide to register an account now, 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 and you're good to go, guys. So how to borrow, it says that step one, decide which assets you want to borrow. Now, deciding which assets you need to borrow, you need to research on both your expected borrowing assets and the collateral assets you want to use so if you have several collateral assets guys uh maybe you invested in btc and you also invested in eth and you also invested in busd you want to know that uh which one is beneficial for you i will i'll be showing a column where you can uh, uh check out a list of expected borrowing assets as well as the collateral assets then the values and all the charges you should be expecting then also step two, you need to select how long you want to borrow the time frame. Let's say you want to borrow for seven days to 180 days. You need to know that the longer the period, the longer the interest. So, but eventually you also get access to paying uh, a stress fee. You can pay within any period of time that you want to pay. So if you know uh, a facility you want to use, you'll be using it for a long period of time. And you've calculated that, okay, this will be more beneficial for me. It's just better off you use it for a 180 days in order for you to avoid liquidation, guys. In order for you to avoid liquidation. So Binance gives you the opportunity to uh, use these uh, crypto asset for a long period of time in order for you to avoid liquidation. So if you know you want to use a crypto asset for uh, uh, a period of let's say more than one month is not good for you to uh, up to seven days uh, uh, timeline. If you opt into the seven days time, then you, your uh, collateral will end up being liquidated. So these are basic tips you need to know when considering crypto loans on the Binance platform. Now, another thing you need to know is that the Binance platform will automatically determine the hourly interest rate based on your collateral amount. You can also feel free to use the borrowed uh, funds wherever you want to use. Now, uh, there's the uh, conclusion here that talks about how to repay. Now, if you want to repay your crypto uh, loan, you need to go over to the other page. You pay the interest rate first, then the principal amount. So uh, for the interest rates, you all, all you need to know, the interest rate will be shown to you. For all you need to do, you can pay with the uh, collateral or you can pay with the exact cryptocurrency. So if, if in a scenario where you collected BTC, and you dropped a uh, stablecoin, let's say USDT. So you need to pay uh, this amount of uh, BTC or this amount of uh, uh, USDT. Maybe you collected one BTC and you dropped about two uh, uh, USDT for that one BTC. So you need to use uh, one BTC plus additional interest, let's say 1.1 BTC. So you need to have 1.1 BTC in order for you to uh, clear off your loan. If you want to use the crypto asset that you used in borrowing to pay off your loan or you can also decide to use your collateral in paying off your loan so it depends on you whichever you want you want to use but most users usually use the crypto asset that they borrowed or maybe you uh, used a uh, uh, bitcoin in trading or you collected a collateral or a crypto loan for btc and you use this in the future trading or in the margin trading uh, picture and uh, eventually you got profits uh, times uh, 2x or 10x or you use the leverage option which uh, gives you opportunity to edge against the market uh, even though you don't have some of the amount of money you can do 10x or or more one up to 125x on the binance of futures trading let's say you made profit from that transaction from uh, either long or short holding so binance gives you the opportunity to pay off with either the collateral that you used or the uh, particular crypto assets that you've gotten. So uh, for uh, a conclusion on this particular uh, 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 write-up here, it says that cryptocurrency loans are simple and easy way to borrow extra funds. So you want to know that you don't need a credit score, uh, interest fees are very low, and you can borrow up to 65% of your collateral on the Binance loans. But remember that the crypto market is very volatile and loans come with their own set of risks. So about making a crypto loan, uh, ensure you have more than enough in your wallet or portfolio to cover interest fees, collateral and principal repayment. So guys, you will need to make your own research duly 
when you want to push through with this so i'm going to show you guys the binance crypto loan platform in particular uh, when you get over to the binance crypto loan you need to know that they are you can borrow for the binance uh, spot margin futures trading or staking to n i a p y APY is uh, another short for annual percentage yield. Annual percentage yield is the amount of uh, cryptocurrency that you get in benefit for uh, keeping your crypto assets on the Binance platform. So Binance utilizes these uh, stick crypto asset for whichever uh, purposes they want to utilize them for. Just like in the traditional banks where you might keep your funds in the fixed deposit bank and the banks might decide to use your funds in investing for a uh, project as well as uh loaning other uh, uh crypto uh customers on the uh, on their platform uh loaning other customers and they keep the interest rate and also give you some portion of the interest rate because it's a 50 uh 50 basis so binance uh tells you that this is a particular fee you'll be getting so in a scenario where whichever uh issues happen binance always make sure to fulfill their end of the bargain so you need to know that there are currently a lot of loanable assets. When you get over to the Binance Crypto Loan feature, you need to understand that uh, uh, on a neutral basis, you'll be seeing the BUSD, which talks about I want to borrow. So I want to borrow talks about the crypto assets you want to borrow. The collateral amount is the collateral that you want to use for borrowing purposes. Now we also have the initial LTV, which talks about the 65% of your collateral that will be made available to you. That the interest rate, this is the figures that are being calculated for interest rate about uh, on an hourly basis, 0.00104%. But on a daily basis, that's about 0.025%. So you want to take note of this. So let's say in a scenario where you want to borrow USD, US, uh, BUSD, which is the Binance stablecoin, all you need to do is to impute the amount of BUS you want to borrow. Let's say you have Bitcoin or BNB, which is the Binance uh, native token. You want to borrow some amount. So Binance tells you that you need to, you can only borrow from 100.05 BUS still. So let's, let's, let, let's just use about 101. We're going to use 101 BUSD. So there's a limit to the B, uh, amount that you can borrow. So Binance have put this in place to let uh, users know that there's a limit so you can borrow anything less than that. So uh, for Collectera, we're going to click on BNB. Let's say you want to use BNB, you have some amount of BNB you are going to hold in for a future purpose or for whichever reason you want to hold this uh, particular asset. It tells you that Binance, you need to have about 0 0.4 B, BMB token, a 0.4 BMB token. So, but if you see here, there's a red flag that talks about we currently have zero BMB in our, our crypto assets. So you can also check the loan term. The loan term is made available from seven days, 14 days, 30 days, as well as 90 days and 180 days. Now, if you look at this uh, total interest rate, the total interest talk, talks about that uh, for this BUSD or uh, 101 BUSD we are collecting, we will be uh, we will have to pay 0 0.17 BU, uh, uh, 68 BUSD. Let's say 0 0.18 BUSD as interest rate. So if you are to get 101 BUSD from B, uh, Binance, you uh, you need to repay 100 and 1.8 BUSD approximately on the Binance platform. So I think this is a good uh, uh, catch. Uh, this is a good catch. So all you need to do, maybe you are using this BUSD in trading for a particular launch pool, or you're using it for a particular purpose on the Binance platform. You want to trade against uh, some particular cryptocurrency, or you want to withdraw this for some particular purpose. All you need to do is that for the seven days period, what you'll be paying back is 101.17 BUSD. So guys. It's very, very minimal, guys. Very, very minimal. The interest rate is very minimal, guys. You can even decide to uh, uh, give Binance additional funds for this for uh, enabling you fulfill your purposes, guys. Although that feature is not available, so you need to pay only this exact uh, particular fund. Now, Binance also shows you that you can use a staking option. So this is the staking option we talked about. Where uh, the, this is the feature of crypto loans that allows users to stake their asset as collateral uh, to reduce interest rate. Now, the profit generated by your uh, stake collateral are usually used to reduce the daily interest. That you get up to uh, zero percent so you end up not paying so you can check for the list of crypto assets that are currently available that you can use as collateral and you can stick this uh collateral 
for uh, crypto assets so i'm going to click on this drop down menu for bnb so it's going to show us the list of cryptocurrencies that are that can be staked as collateral and can be used as this so if you're a lucky user that you're currently holding some amount of these cryptocurrencies you want to uh, know that you can use this for uh, whichever purpose that you want to use this on the binance platform so i'm going to click on this and uh, it's going to show us uh uh, some list of cryptocurrencies. I'm, quite, I'm currently having some network issues, but mind you, there are some cryptocurrency. We have a uh, near token here, which can be staked. We have about, uh, we have about, I think we have about six or, or eight of them. We have Cake, CTSI dots. We have KSM, MDX, near token, and Solana. So that's about uh, seven of them, guys. I think that's about seven. But just let me know in the comment section if that's about seven guys so that's about seven staking options and binance are uh, uh, encourage users to send their feedback so you can also send binance feedback that's oh binance we need the btc to be able to stake our uh, btc and also get them as collector or uh, we need uh uh some metaverse tokens we need uh, uh ape coin we need uh lots of other tokens guys so i think that's uh something you can also reach out to binance binance allows users to send in their feedbacks as much as possible so whichever which or, or whichever this cryptocurrency you can use them to uh, stake them and interest on the binance flexible just like i showed you on my dashboard where you see our distribution on a daily basis that we get some amount of crypto uh, currency like we have sand token we have mana we have dodges and metaverse tokens that we've invested in personally so guys you want to know that uh, we do not offer financial advice so whatever i was saying here is just for educational purposes we are not telling you to go invest in uh these tokens that we're showing you here so you need to uh do your own research or consult your own financial advisors uh before you push through with any investment advices so that said uh that's a disclaimer that said uh you need to uh you can also use only show my asset feature only show my asset feature shows you the list of assets that you have so uh once you uh, see the list of assets you have uh most of our assets are currently on the binance end feature uh where we are currently earning uh daily basis interest rate so you can uh, redeem these particular crypto assets and send them to your spot wallet once you redeem them you can now use them as collateral if you can stick them and end them as collateral so these are some things you need to know so once you are uh, redeemed there it will be available for you to use then you can click on the number of days so let's say you want to use seven days this is what you will be paying for busd if you have to put through with this transaction but for 14 days take note i said that the longer the period the higher the interest rate you're paying so for a, a long period of time let's say for 14 days let's say you want to take a long term for 14 days you need to know that this is what you'll be paying so you can see that the value just increased from uh, it was initially 0.17 but it's now initially uh is now 101.35 uh, it was 101.17 initially so you need to take note of this the longer the period the longer the interest rate that you will be paying for this particular period of time so these are uh, some of the tips you want to know you can also check for 180 days on 180 days you you will be able to see the uh, repayment plan that has been uh, made available to you. So if you have enough crypto assets, uh, this uh, button that talks about start borrowing now, you all you need to do is to click on it and you're good to go. Binance gives you your crypto uh, assets. The crypto asset will now be credited directly to your sports wallet, which you can now transfer to your funding wallet or transfer to your margin wallet or transfer to your uh, futures account in order for you to uh, use for whichever purpose you want to use. Or you can also use that, decide to use it on the Binance end feature. So well, for 180 days, you can see uh, it says here we'll be paying up to about 4.5 BUSD, which uh, will be on a, a regular basis. That's the interest rate. So for the end of the time, now we'll be paying up to 105 BUSD. Now, the ongoing orders will show you the list of crypto uh, loans that you've taken so far. And you can also do an overview of the list of uh, crypto assets that you've gotten so far. So these are some basic things you need to do now we'll be looking at the bnb holdings now uh another advantage of the binance crypto loans is that binance has the bnb holdings in crypto loans which now counts toward the calculation of the binance uh, daily uh, bnb balance 
So this gives users, okay, I'm going to read out this article so you understand. Uh, the daily average BNB or Binance Crypto Loans net BNB collateral balance is calculated as the sum of the hourly snapshots of the net BNB collateral uh, balance in the Binance Crypto Loans daily. So on the layman's view or on a, a direct basis, you need to know that this daily BNB balance gives you the opportunity to get discount fees when you trade or the Binance platform. So Binance has a native token and Binance encourages users to trade or uh, use uh, or to use their Binance, uh, their uh, native token in trading. So now for users who owe this uh, native token, Binance takes records of this and gives them additional or discount fees when they are trading. So if you're a user that has some amount of BNB, Binance notifies you or Binance takes records of this and Binance uh, uh, uh binance gives you the opportunity to get discounts or cashbacks when you trade on the binance platform so it's majorly very different from other users who do not hold this uh, native current uh, currency so it says for the formula the net bnb collateral is equals to the total bnb collateral balance minus the borrowed bnb minus interest in bnb so if a user's uh, net bnb collateral balance is zero or negative it will count as zero the above data will be recorded using hourly snapshot so these are some of the key features you need to understand on the binance platform that the binance bnb holdings feature enables users to no so if in a scenario where you're using bnb as your collector uh binance will take record of the fact that your bnb counts as uh, uh a order or counts as a order counts as a, a means for you to get discounts in trading so when you are trading with whichever asset you want to trade with uh the daily bnb snapshot enables you to get discounts or cashbacks when you trade so I'm going to be showing you guys the fees. So the calculation mechanism to record BNB has changed from being recorded at a snapshot. So you can see we have Binance Crypto Loans here, which has been added as well as margin account balance and other features, guys. Even features wallets, we have a funding wallet as well as uh, loads of them. So for the Binance Crypto Loans, I'm going to read that. It says here, you need to note that the sum of the hourly snapshots of net BNB balance uh, that's the formula in both master and sub account margin accounts in a day divided by 24 hours please know that the margin account balances may be negative uh, balance that's for users who have a sub account so if you have a sub account you want to take note of that but uh, for crypto loans users need to know that the uh, daily average uh, binance crypto loans account bnb collateral balance is calculated as the sum of the hourly snapshots of the bnb collateral in the binance crypto loans account in a day divided by 24 hours so these are some basic uh, concepts then if you're looking to understand the binance interest rates there's an article i'll be dropping in the uh, description box for you to understand what interest rates are and how profitable or how needed they are in businesses so you want to know that interest is a payment owed to a lender by borrower uh, in a scenario where Alice borrows money, Bob might say you have to pay this. So uh, the major uh, reason why people collect interest is the fact that uh, this money could be used in. So uh, there are lots of people who would want to get this access to this facility. So it's it's kind of a factor that helps or uh, reduces the possibility of people uh, striving in for this and also uh, create an opportunity for to create more. Uh, opportunities for users who want to get so if you're paying interest rate when the interest rate accumulates they can also use that interest rate to give out to other users who might want to it's just a, a simple way of keeping the business running in a normal uh, for people who are business minded so you want to understand what interest rates are so guys uh for a quick wrap up we've talked about uh some of the basic tips you need to understand on crypto loans uh, you need to understand that the binance loans itself uh, provides a wide range of op options for supported uh, crypto assets uh interest rates uh, uh collector assets and maximum loanable uh, limits based on market conditions and internal risk management now uh, some of the advantage we talked about we talked about uh, the loans taking advantages we talked about we also looked about uh, loans taking advantages the opportunity whereby you can stake your collateral 
earn interest additionally and you end up not paying uh, interest on the Binance loan that you've taken. And also, we also have the flexible loan terms in which you can pay whichever uh, 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 crypto loans you've taken whichever time you want to take, uh, which way, whichever time you want to pay. Then also the BNB holdings. The BNB holdings allows users to get uh, discount fees when they trade. I uh, will also be looking at uh, the research. Uh, we've talked about the research on how uh, you can uh, uh, research on your expected borrowing assets and the color, uh, collateral assets. And also we'll be looking at the VIP tier, but before that, We'll be talking about uh, some frequently asked questions on the Binance Crypto Loan. There's a video here. You can play the video, but uh, because of time, we will not be able to play it. Uh, I'll be dropping the link so you can get access to this. So these are some of the basic questions that uh, users usually ask. Talks about what is LTV. Can I make full payment before the due date? Yes, there is no interest penalty for this, which we've talked about. Uh, says, can I borrow for trade margin and futures? That's question number 12. He said, you can borrow for whatever purpose you want to do. And can I adjust my uh, collateral for question number 10? He says, you can adjust your collateral for whichever reasons you want to adjust your collateral for. Now, uh, for a final tip, you need to know that the Binance, uh, uh, Binance platform has a levels of uh, VIP tiers. So for uh, the BNB holdings or the discounts you will be getting, or for the fact that you can research your crypto asset Binance as the loan data page, the loan data page shows you the opportunity for you to see loanable assets. It also tells you uh, the VIP level that you're currently in. If you can look at my screen now, you can see that the VIP level is currently at zero. This is because of uh, the features or the criteria that have been put in place to uh, uh, edge users or to uh, rank users were on the Binance platform. So if you're a user that does high volumes of trade, you should get uh, a higher level of a VIP. So I'm going to show you some of the basic criteria for loanable assets, or you can click on this search icon here and you will be able to see the list of loanable assets that are available on the Binance Crypto Loan Portal. You can also check out for uh, crypto assets that are currently available that you can use and you can also see the borrow limit that are available for you and the price index that have also been uh, made available. So this involves uh, initial LTV, margin core, liquidation LTV, which are all structured on this Binance uh, loan data. So it's currently loading up. We're having small network issues, guys. So I'm just trying to wrap it up so you guys understand the basic concept. But I'm going to drop the link in the description box so you can get the whole overview. So these are major tips you need to know. So there are various loads of cryptocurrency on the Binance platform. You want to check out for the particular crypto assets that you want to borrow or you're interested in. That's your expected borrowing asset as well as your collateral asset. So you can check your expected borrowing asset. Let's say for BCH, which is currently on our screen here, daily interested or hourly interested, you can see you need to pay about 0.25% on a seven days timeline on a, a daily basis. But for an hourly basis, it would be 0.001042%. So you can also see uh, these are the interest rates that are being uh, uh, calculated or being attached to this individual uh, crypto asset. So basically, most of these crypto assets they are currently fixed. I think uh, it's a fixed uh, figure for this crypto asset. One uh, key feature you need to know is that uh, for low number assets, the uh, collector or the LTV is currently capped at uh, 65 percent, while the margin core is 75 percent. By the liquidation LTV, this is the point in which Binance might have to liquidate your crypto assets. Uh, it's currently capped at 83%. Collateral limit needs to be about uh, uh, 37 points, uh, depending on the particular uh, crypto asset that you're using as collateral. But these are the figures that you want to use, guys, in uh, reference purposes. So these are some of the basic concepts you need to understand on the Binance platform. And uh, also, uh, the borrow limit, you want to check out your borrow limit to see if it's... Uh